My name's Rob Stewart. I'm a Basie Level 3 instructor. I've been a Basie instructor for many years. Stuart. And my name's Fiona Gillett. I'm a Basie Level 2 instructor, recently qualified. Um, and what we're going to do here today is talk about the type of skis that you need to come to do your Basie 1 with. So we're going to make sure that we can provide you with the right information and guide you to buying the right skis so that when you turn up to do your BASE exam, your BASE level one, you're going to be able to pass it easily and quickly. If you're preparing for your BASE level one, now what you want to do is make sure you turn up with the right skis. You don't want to turn up to a BASE level one course with a big fat free ride ski with twin tips on it. It's just not going to work. And the BASE trainer is probably going to look at those skis and say, look, they're just not suitable for the course. So you need to really pick the right kind of ski. And the obvious one to go for is a good, high-performing P-Ski. If you don't need a race ski, we've got two here. This one is a Fisher, it's the RC4 Curve TI. It's 68 millimeters underfoot, perfect. This one here, this is a head ski. It's a super shaped Magnum and it's 72 millimeters underway. So between 68 and 72 mil, absolutely perfect. Pretty high spec skis, you know, they are a high-performing ski. When you go on to your level two, you might have to do a little bit of off piece stuff and variable terrain. You know, that you will compromise a little bit on that, but you'll be fine. You'll be fine and you need that piece performance. So you'd rather go for a piece ski than say a wider all mountain ski because it will just give you that edge, literally and metaphorically, uh, when you need it. What have you got there? Absolutely right, Rob. So what I've got here is less of a performance, but still a really high performing ski, so it doesn't look like a race ski. We've got the Vulcan Flare. Here we are. It's 73 underfoot. It's a brilliant ski. It's smooth. You'll be able to learn how to do those short turns and those uh, long turns really, really easily. And also do your central feet. Get into the snow plow. Go and do some straight running with this type of ski. You'll be able to learn how to feel how the ski is reacting to you. Now, if you're better than that, you've been come from a race background, you might prefer something a little bit more serious, a little bit more full on, because you'll be able to handle it. You won't be going fast or, you know, flying down the piece on your level one, but you do, you do need to know how to ski really, really well. Um, other skis you might want to consider are the head super shape. It's a classic. Um, even if you don't come from a racing background, you'll probably develop onto this ski and really love it from the level two as well. Um, also, what we've got over here is the vocal uh, super light. Again, another ski looks great, stiff enough to be able to really get into carving those turns. So um, try them out. If you're not sure, read the reviews. Yeah, to summarise, go for your baby level one. Make sure you get a good piece ski. Don't turn up with your free ride twin tips.